talking for you for 20 minutes. Grandpa just blew out his candles. I didn't want you to miss it. <laughs> Why? Your grandfather just turned 93, and he's dying, and you're hiding in the attic and drinking, apparently. This is not normal, Hazel. Sorry. <laughs> you were acting like a 10-year-old, Hazel. I kind of feel like one. <laughs> you know, you know what you're acting like? You are acting like mom. What the fuck, Hazel? I need you to come downstairs, okay? I, I cannot deal with this. Everyone is like bitching and acting like everything's fine. I literally heard mom and aunt Steph trading Bloody Mary recipes. Ooh, ooh, is there, is there more rosé or Pinot Grigio? No, you've had enough to drink. Uh-uh. Just come downstairs. What are you even doing up here? This is disgusting. I came up here because this right here is where grandpa Caught me losing my virginity. No, you told me that was on the couch. No, it was here. No, I'm 100% sure you said it was on the couch because you said it was creaking. Well, it was, I was 16 and you had already gone off to college. And so I got really tired of being home alone by myself and bored. So I used to come over to grandpa's house a lot and and I was I was here all the time and I, I practically moved in and so one day you know he he walked upstairs and he was like oh well that's what all that creaking was so funny that's a great story you can just you could, should save it for his funeral it should probably be in a couple days right so you can just add that to his eulogy I don't say that, okay? He's not gonna die in a couple days. He's not. Could you just come downstairs, please? He's been asking about you. He's not asking about me, but he's asking about you, so. He has? Yeah. Don't you feel like a real asshole now? Just come downstairs for like half an hour. Come on, why don't you want to come downstairs? Are you afraid you're going to fall apart? I already did. This is Grandma's hat. Downstairs, okay?